And rap lots back in the house once again. We back. Uh, this is a uh, Senior Bowl day one practice. This is only the South team. Um, I like to break down the O line versus uh, versus D line one on ones in case this y'all first time here. I know it's gonna be the first time for a lot of people. And the NFL Network tried to give us a little run around. I didn't like that, uh, but we do have this very abridged version of only the the South practice. So uh, hey, we're gonna take these one on ones. We're gonna run it for the cardio. All right. And um, just another note too. Just if y'all are new here, like I don't know everybody's name. I'm not the expert that that people, you know, people, uh, you know, seem to think I am. I don't know all the undrafted people in January. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll probably know them by April, but uh, I know some names. I don't know the others. For example, this is Terrell Lewis. So when I say, hey, that's going to be Terrell Lewis. But this cat that I don't know, I'll either refer to him by a jersey or by a number. Um, or, or by, uh, you know, like a helmet emblem, but I don't even know what school that is, boy. What, <laughs> what school is that, man? What community college is that? I don't know. But, um, Terrell Lewis coming off the football here offsides a little bit. Nice no, straight. Um, you know, we know he's the, uh, he's the, uh, super athletic. He got ball get off guy, but he's kind of small. He's got to figure out how to put it together. And this seems like, Hey, I'm going to try to out, out athlete this dude, but when it doesn't work now, what? And that's what, um, that's what a Terrell Lewis has got to figure out, you know, how to set his moves up a little bit better. You're going to hear a word a lot from me uh, this year. We're going to say polish, right? It's not a lot of polished um, pass rushes this year. It's a lot of guys that are, um, that are very, you know, very raw. They're good at one, you know, certain thing, whether it be speed, power, you know, however they uh, get down. Pretty good set right there. But a lot of people got, you know, got technical work to do. I know this is offensive lineman uh, Terrence Steele from Texas Tech. I'm actually a fan of his. Pretty good set right there. Pretty good set. Kick, kick, kick. He's going to use that right hand to kind of keep him at bay to kind of measure, measure distance there. And when it's time to bring that left hand, ah, we're going to get you on that, bro. And, and um, the uh, D lineman, let's see what he could have done. He could have gotten back inside, but he didn't have a he didn't have a good recovery move there. If he's going to work to the outside, uh, Texas Tech here, um, Terrence Steele was 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 solid enough working him to the outside. That when that left hand came, he wasn't getting back inside. You see how he tried to get back inside there, and that left hand just wouldn't allow it. Not a bad rep. I don't want um, Terrence Steele that far into the backfield though. Uh, kind of stop that early, and you can stop that by getting hands on guys earlier, but. Uh, not a bad rep. Not a bad rep. Okay. Okay. Kentucky. Whoever the hell is his from Kentucky. Uh, I got a list. Logan Stenberg from uh, from uh, Kentucky. He is uh, on the list of guys that I know. And I tell you what, man. Normally, like, offensive linemen die in these drills. But uh, this ain't bad today. We know Cushion Berry. He just got a ring. Um, blocking the best, the best player in the uh, in the uh, draft. There, salute to him. Got him playing playing center there, and I know, I know this old Miss cat is not uh, Benito Jones. He's he's there too, but um, Josiah something something. I'll figure it out later. But uh, good block from uh, from uh, Cushion Berry. He's just gonna get those hands inside, settle it, and just settle himself down and drop his butt. See see those hips really get settled right right. Right there, see him. See him just dropping those hips right there, uh, dropping that anchor. Once he, uh, once he uh, got that anchor down, your boy couldn't uh, couldn't do much more with him. So it's a good play there. Good, 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 uh, good play there by uh, Cushion Bear. I know this dude's name, man. Um, I don't know, Josiah something something. Damn, old Miss, what's going on with you? <laughs> uh, this is your Auburn guy. This is uh, this is a uh, Marlon uh, Marlon Davidson. I think he tied in sacks with um, with uh, Derek Brown there at uh, Auburn, and he's just he just out athleting you here, man. Did he did he start off on your left side? Yep, cross your face, boom, boom, boom. Did he defeat your hands? Good job defeating the hands. Okay, let's focus on how this right hand came over. Hey, take note, young young pass rushers. When you swimming, you ain't just putting your arm over on the other side, right? You really want to defeat those hands. You swim to get the blocker's hands off of you. So you got to swim with a little bit of authority. You got to swim like you like you taking lunch money. Um, that's a good set right there. <clears throat> By Marlon Davidson from Auburn. Go go again. Go go again. Let's see what happens this time. <laughs> like I said, <laughs> like I said the first time, um, I like how he beat you in a different way this time, right? 
Uh, the first time it was it was more of a I'm crossing your face I'm gonna be faster than you and he does eventually cross your face here too but we got strong hands to the inside boom some extension and if I'm inside like you see and if I'm extended like you see and you can't get your hands inside on me I control you I take you from point A to point B your lunch money is mine and that swim is simply to um, get hands off of you so Hey man, you uh you can't just be going oh for two out here, man. This is the best of three. You got to make it interesting. You have got to make it interesting. But anyway, let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. Got one of my Florida guys. Who is this? That's not uh that's not that's not Grenard. That's uh Zuniga, uh Jabari Zuniga. I might play the Black Panther drop on him. <laughs> Every time I see him go, I probably play play that drop. Who is this though? Who is this offensive lineman? I think this is the first time I need help. Chat box, help me out. Who is number seventy five? This left uh this left tackle right here. This is what I liked about him. I like how he traveled. Boom boom boom. Quick feet. I like the bend in his knees, man. I love the bend in his knees, man. You can't have tall football players, man. What about your hands? Got him inside. Didn't you know? Didn't 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 really punch and deliver that blow, but it's cool. We kind of caught him, but he got settled in, and that's all that matters. And once those hands got settled, he kept his feet moving. So pretty good job there by the offensive lineman. What could Zuniga do different? Hey, don't let this dude get hands on you. Easy peasy, <laughs> just like that. And you know what? He recognized it real early. Check out your boy Zuniga. He uh he gets hands to the outside, and he go, "Oops, let me work back inside." <laughs> but um, but it was over. It, it was over at. at at this point, 70, uh, 75 did a, did a fantastic, but his jersey, but his helmet is 78. Who, 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 who helmet you borrowed? C come on. Um, but anyway, yeah, he, that, that was a pretty good set by him. Pretty good set by him. Chat box, tell me who that is. 75. That ain't Wisconsin. Uh, what, who, who got the number on their helmet with the, with the white paint on it? I don't know. Somebody help me. It's too many, uh, too many schools. I don't identify with here. This is a small Tulsa kid versus a big ass seventy seven. Who is seventy seven? Who is this? <laughs> hey, y'all letting all y'all letting the old line work y'all today, man. Come on, son. What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? We're gonna pop, 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 pop. Measure some distance. I, ain't, I I like that. Get it in. Get right back out though. Because look, if you if if you're gonna measure with a hand like he's doing with his right hand here, if if you're gonna measure distance, which is a a hell of a wingspan, boy, you should have played defensive end. Uh, but it's cool though. But uh, if you're gonna measure with this hand, get it right back out of there. Because if a DN grabs your wrist that he can he can control you. That's one of the many ways uh, pass rushers can control you is when they you know grab your wrist or they get inside on you, something like that. But pretty good block right there from uh, 77. Somebody tell me who the hell that is and what school he go to um, so we can further evaluate him so you can watch a little more film on him. Um, this ain't Cushionberry. This kid's a little more short and stubby. Is that Ken Law? Let's see, let's see what, old, what old Ken Law did. Let's uh, dedicate a little time to um, Javon Ken Law. Hands down the middle. I'm better than you. Hey. How many yards did you travel? One, two. You went about a good five yards. Hey, man. Now let's now let's say this. Even though Javon Kenlaw absolutely moved this kid from from point A to point B, let's be fair and talk about what I don't like. Okay, let's not just be one dimensional. Now, if you're gonna get this bull rush, I want you to disengage at some point. I don't want you to get caught up in this fight. I don't want you to just whoop this old lineman for the sake of whooping him. I want you to whoop him to get to the quarterback, right? So at some point, I want you to have some type of move for you to disengage with. And uh, also, I'm not the biggest fan of you running down the middle of people, right? Now, if you're good enough to run down the middle of people, then fine. Just run down the middle of people and just, you know, <laughs> do your thing. But um, I want to see a little bit of uh, diversity in his in his moves or whatnot. And this is me being very picky with him. I know he's going to be a first-round pick, maybe like a top half of the first-round, top 15 kind of guy. So um, I've got to pull that microscope out. i got to pull that microscope out. Good, good, uh, good rush there. 95... I'm sorry. Did the old Miss kids bring different old Miss helmets? <laughs> I'm sorry. Did they do this for real? <laughs> well, that's your boy uh, Benito Jones with the different old Miss helmet because they wanted to be different. <laughs> Fine. Um, hey, we're having a conversation about Red Helmet Gangsters, right? If you keep up with this channel, it's the third year of me doing Senior Bowl. We have this thing that we keep up with called Red Helmet Gangsters. Is whenever a, a, a school sends out two people. And isn't, here's an example of it. Your boy, uh, Cody. 
Josiah Coatley, cool, appreciate it. It's when a school sends um, two guys to the Senior Bowl and they go out and whoop everybody. So one week it was South Carolina State, B.J. Hill and Justin Jones. They just showed up and smoked everybody. Um, the next year it was uh, Ben Bonogu and uh, I forgot the draft class. It was last year. And his partner from uh, TCU. So is the pair of Ole Miss guys going to be the Red Helmet Gangsters this year to where they just kind of show up and whoop everybody? Or is it going to be the Florida kids, right? Zuniga and Grenard. This is Grenard here. <clears throat> Let's see what happens here. Pardon me. I'm kind of sick, man. So, pardon my voice, but you know, work's got to be done. Uh, Grenard's going to come off the ball. He's going to con- he's going to try to control that outside wrist. Not only that, but he's going to try to get a step to the inside. It was a light step. It wasn't too heavy. Um, you know, we we fake inside to give ourselves like more room to work outside, but his inside step didn't work. So that's part of his problem. And then he tried to control his wrist, and then he did a pre- he did a pretty good job of engaging with it. But um, Texas Tech is that my boy um, Steel? Hey, uh, <laughs> Terrence Steel, he just hanging in there, whooping up on everybody. Terrence Steel got a lot of reps today, man. Hey, chat box, let's do our research on his offensive tackle, Terrence Steel, because he's beating up on some of uh, you know some of the better guys. He beat up on the South Carolina kid earlier. I know he put hands on. Um, he put hands on somebody else too, and he just and he just beat up on um, uh, Grenard from Florida. So this may be one of the guys that we walk away from getting, you know, <clears throat> getting some uh, some more information on him afterwards. This is Greenlaw, not Greenlaw, Kenlaw, Kenlaw versus um, this one of the LSU children. It's not Cushenberry. Mm. I see this is another thing right here, right? He just kind of ran down the middle of this guy. Now if you're if you're Javon Kenlaw, like you're athletic enough to where you ain't got to do this. You're quick enough to get around people. You you can probably put together enough moves. And that's the thing about Kenlaw. He's very raw. Kenlaw is very raw. So he's going to have to learn some different ways to engage people or whatnot, not just run down the middle of people. Because one day, like wh- like whoever's 68, he's been getting bullied or whatever. But um, he's going to run into somebody that's just as big and it's just as powerful as him. And he's going to try to run down the middle of them cast and it's not going to be a great idea. They're not going to have a good time. So, But hey, <laughs> do what you got to do. Beat up on people however you choose to beat up on people. Um, let's see. Who this? New phone, who this? I don't know him, but <laughs> his helmet just blank. Hey, uh, hey, but hey, that's just a simple power rush. Hey, do what you gotta do. Whatever you gotta do. It's our boy uh Josiah Coley again. Who is this uh who's this guard here that he's beating up on? Hey man, the old Miss kids, they may be the old Miss kids may want to take the the um the red helmet gangster title. I don't know. This might be a thing. I might go live and talk about it. We'll 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 see. We'll see. That's an early takeaway for me. What's going on here? <clears throat> so this seems to be like a best on best type of deal. Is this um Davison from Auburn? Davison from Auburn versus um Steele. My man Steele from um from uh Texas Tech. It's a one verse one. And I tell you what, first problem, if you're Jeremy, if you're not Jeremy, if you're um if you're a Terrence Steele, I don't need you to open up your hips like that, fam. Like if you want to work back and then if they go out, you work out, then cool. Um, but don't just open up opening your hips like that. Don't just start your first move opening up your hips. That's not great for business. Also, another note here, Marlon Davison. Um, we first saw him beating the hell out of people, he was lined up inside. Now we see him beating the hell out of uh, Terrence Steele. He's lined up at defensive end here. I think that's going to be important moving forward. Let's uh, check out the rest of this, see what else happened. Let's check out the rest. Listen, man, I just, I tried to tell you, ain't listening. I, I tried, told you, fam, don't open up your hips so soon. Hey, take note, young offensive lineman. Hey, the if I'm at a, if I'm a defensive end, the quickest route to your quarterback is inside. I can get your quarterback quicker inside than outside. So if you're, if you're going to open your hips and give me the inside like such, uh, like, like, come on. And then on top of this, he tried to put some style points. Let's talk about the style points that your boy, Marlon Davis, try to put together. First of all, he's going to give you a rush to the outside. Boom, boom, boom. With his, uh, with his, I played basketball in the 60s short shorts. I ain't going to say nothing, but look, 
He's going to come off the ball, right? Boom, boom, boom. Let's talk about what he did directly here. He's going to defeat his uh, left hand. Not bad. He's going to swim back to the inside because, hey, if you're going to give me the inside, I'm going to take the inside. I'm going to spin back inside, make you overcorrect back inside just to spin back outside. <laughs> It was a little swag on this pass rush. Hey, this is a pass rush for the day, man. This is the pass rush of the day. I'm calling it right now. This man, ah, 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 boom, ta, I don't think I've ever seen that move before. I don't think I've ever seen that move before, right? Working inside, just, okay, never mind. I, I, I've seen that before. <laughs> it was just more more swag than I expected. Anyway, hey, y'all, this is day one. This is the South team. I'm not going to break down too much receivers because they only gave me like two minutes worth of worth of receivers, man. So, um, like I said, man, the NFL Network tried to give us this abridged version of the Senior Bowl practice. I didn't like it, but I tell you what, ESPN is going to be streaming it Wednesday and Thursday. So I'll definitely be tuning in ESPN's um, live feed on uh, Tuesday and Thursday. And, hey, man, I may be able to, you know, pull some footage from both feeds and we'll have that conversation and we'll do this thing all over again tomorrow. All right. Um like this video, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Y'all hold it down for the Doski Wolski. Don't forget about my Patreon. We're going to do a Patreon giveaway at the end of the month. And, um, hey, man, until tomorrow, salute. My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to AffordableSticks.com. They sent me a fire stick, plugged that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the cord, man. After canceling my cable, I saved $2,400 this year by switching to Beast TV through channelsforcheap.com. Some people pay $200 plus a month. I paid $120 a year, or you can go $15 a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get 2,500 HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels, TV Guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is multi-screen features, so if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time that you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Sticks, Smart TVs, tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven-day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it. Then come back and make a purchase. Because if you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com. Hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels4cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. Let's do it.